Hi, I'm Christine. Come along and join me in this playful journey of discovering how to make successful Nuno felt. Everything you need is going to be listed in the description below, but here's a few pictures. Here are some other things that you will need. Fleece, pre-felt, some silk sari. Let's lay down the design. First of all, big thing I've discovered over these videos, you've got to start off with the fabric wet. That's the big message for this video. Make that fabric wet, put it down wet, keep it wet. Anything you lay on top of it, make that wet as well. These beautiful little roses are called Holly Nutley Roses and they are made from rolling some wool fibre and then chopping it like a cross sections in a log. Bingo, you've got fantastic little roses. I've also used some pre-felt here, which is felt that is not fully done at all, just held together enough that it keeps its shape. All of that I have wet very thoroughly. Now I'm adding some little wisps over some of those stringy bits because the little wisps of wool fiber will help glue the stringy bits down to and through the fabric. Here's a really cute clever way you can get a long uh, thread from one little bit of pre-felt. All the other little bits of leftover pre-felt I have chopped up. Now this way I put the fibre underneath those lovely little roses and that acts as a means of pushing. It's like a glue sandwich and the fibre goes through. Look at that beautiful sari thread. It's recycled so it has to be good, doesn't it? So just the smallest amount of this will really pick up the light beautifully. Why I put so much yellow down, I don't know. But meanwhile, please subscribe. I would love it if you did. Now comes the wet felting part. And we have some beautiful, I think, tango sort of music to go along with this. Let's go. So this is still very wet. I'm using this little roller because I like it. I think it's meant for as a back massager I've added more water what I'm not showing you is that I am continually taking water off this as well but without some water it won't felt I heard the most amazing idea today from Judith um, who is major felt maker also happens to be my mother who's 90 she explained to me the benefits of putting the project work into a car on a warm summer day and that makes the felting go faster who'd have thought now here you'll see me putting some soap and water down on top of that bubble wrap it works because when you're using your hands on there it makes your hand slide much more effectively you'll see me pick up the corner of that to have a look underneath to see if it's felted if it's not if the felt's not coming through keep going <laughs> again using that olive oil soap to make the soapy water it has a different texture it has a different ph level it's much kinder on your skin but of course you don't have to use it you can just use dishwashing detergent or any old soap but soap is good soap and water and friction are the key things here and when i'm doing this by the way because people ask the bubble the bubbly bit of the bubble wrap is face down onto the work you can also use an electric sander don't move it backwards and forwards but do it like i am here and just pick it up and then put it down on a certain patch and let it vibrate on that for 10 seconds 10 15 seconds is this coming through so this is the wrong side so the answer is no not yet not really again i'm using that little back massager because it leaves traces and i can see exactly where i've been so here so soaking up the extra water but also the extra soap on both sides 
Look at that pink dye that's come out of the um, sari waste. Now we have a bit of a roll. So I'm showing this here. You can just roll it in the bubble wrap if you like. That's one good method. This is another method of just waving the work gently. You can almost see the work felt before your eyes doing that. Dropping it works really well. I have no idea why, but it shocks those wool fibers. But don't do it too early. This is sort of the time when you would do that. You can also put it on a foam roller like I am here. You can also use a piece of dowel. You can use an old rolling pin. Continually take it off though and stretch it out and turn it around. You do a lot more of that work than I am showing here. This is actually two hours of video that's been condensed down to six minutes. This is a way of rolling. I saw where you really get your whole body into it, going right from your wrists to your elbow. Again, more dropping. And what I can't remember, I think at this point, I've actually put it in the microwave for 10, 15 seconds. And we're done. It has worked. Rinse it, hang it out to dry. We like to hang everything outside because we can. Press it, iron it. When you press it, if you do have the joy of having a, a proper press, it does make the work just come alive straight away. Look at those beautiful bits of silk. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Please hit the like button if you did. See you next time.